Hello guys. Today I'm doing just a little funny video where I'm going through my hair history with you. Because I feel like a lot of people here don't know um, all the different hair things I've done in my life. So let's go through it. Now I'm pretty much starting at like middle school. I did change my hair quite a bit when I was younger, but actually elementary school is where I'm starting. But eh, I figured it's not that important to go through. So let's start this picture um i it happened at a festival and i got my face painted i did have bangs but they're back in this picture but i thought this was a really good picture to show my natural hair color um and then i have a picture showing my bangs but the lighting is you know awful <laughs> and then i was growing out my bangs and this was the first time i dyed my hair black never went back and then i shaved the side of my head now the reason i shaved my the side of my head i don't remember i had been wanting to for a while and i don't i'm not sure if there was an exact reason but i do remember specifically when i got this marceline cd this adventure time cd uh, for my collection she has her head shaved underneath the cover and she had her head shaved in a couple episodes so that was like a really big um pushing point and then I, while I had my shaved head, I dyed it purple at home and bleached it at home while my mom did. And I think this was one of the most damaging <laughs> things ever. But um, it kind of faded out like reddish, um, obviously. Um, but there were some pieces that were like way lighter than others. It was funny. Um, and then, oh, this was it. Like you can see, this is me growing out this side shave like there's this really long piece that's short but it's growing out once it grew out enough we dyed it blue black very blue because of the purple underneath very blue and then after that started fading a bit so after it was blue did i do the emo cut how many times did i cut my hair i think we did the emo cut okay so after the half shave we did the emo cut i have several examples of that and you can see it was still kind of blue black but fading too. Um, I was always so sad because my the emo hair would never sit how I wanted to because I didn't know how to style it. I just wanted emo hair. And then I started growing it out. You can see it kind of curls um, as it's getting longer. Yep. And then I cut my hair short. Pixie cut, which I had had before. Wish I had never done that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and then I went back and actually, well, it, I would always let it get too long, first of all, but then I went back and we got the bright peach and purple. It faded to a really nice peach. I don't mind the peach. I do like the peach color. Um, but yeah. Uh, and then we cut it again because it was getting long and we dyed it. I wanted black, but she said to do brown just in case I wanted to dye it a bright color again, which valid, but I didn't. And that one I would let get way too long. And that was from middle school that I had that to freshman year. Well, first of all, let me show you how much too long I let it get. Should not come down this far. I had made the mistake of dyeing it blue black. Luckily it faded pretty fast. This one, it actually looks kind of okay, but, and my friend, I blame my friend for saying that she liked it longer, like a little swoopy because I kept it like that because of it. And then sophomore year, I decided to start growing out, wear it up. I wore it up and let it grow. And I looked, I started to look like a skater boy. Um, I tried to make it look pretty because I wanted to be more feminine. The reason I was growing it out is because I decided to be more feminine, finally. But you know, it took a really long time. When I was growing out the pixie, I was able to finally put it in a ponytail, but it still looked weird. So I would always do this like two piece ponytail thing. It did not always look very good. And finally I was able to get a bob. Now this is what it looked like straight. Obviously my hair isn't straight, unfortunately for me, but it did end up getting wavy. And then of course, why not damage it and bleach it? and dye it pink i really want a pastel pink but she said it would fade which it did um and fade it did indeed it faded to like a peach blonde which actually i don't mind i'm not sure that blonde is my color i wish it was i really want to be blonde but i don't know if i should do the damage 
don't know if I should do the damage. So what do you do when your hair is fading? You dye a blue black, of course. So here's the blue black. It was very blue because it was overly blonde. But as any color does, it starts fading. It was fading kind of green gray, but because it was, what, you, what the hell pudgy? But because it was fading kind of gray, I decided to utilize that for my CL Phantom Hive Halloween costume, Gender by CL Phantom Hive. And yeah, then I eventually dyed it dark again. I don't think I have any like pictures of that. And I just kept growing it up. Kept growing, growing, growing. Here's when it got like pretty decent length and you can see it's dark. And then we decided to damage it again, but only the underside. We bleached the underside and we bleached it in order to make it red. I actually really do like this. I do want, I think I want some sort of red in my hair again. Um, maybe for like Halloween time, but also I can't really afford it. But we did do this at home and bleaching at home. Um, and then this was what it was like braided. I actually really like that, but I can't French braid. Somebody else did that for me. And as everything does, it fades. So the red was actually Arctic Fox, so it like faded really fast because that's only temporary. But you can see here, my hair has like different um, colors. So like here is like probably natural growth. Here is like the blue black. And then underneath is the faded red bleach. And then here is when it was completely faded out. It was just bleached again. And I had it half up, half down. So you could see all the blonde. And I actually really like the way this looks. And you, I'm impressed with how healthy, like not healthy, but how intact my waves are because you'd think they're damaged. They would just poof. And they did just poof, but they also, you could see some distinct waves in there. So that's impressive to me. Um, and then as we know, I dyed it back to probably blue black, but it was probably just like black at this point because it's not over as light of hair. I'm sure the blonde underneath was pretty blue, but then I just kept growing it and growing it and dyeing it black and stuff, but also not really dyeing it black, but always, always was uh, box black. The most recent thing that I've done to it, other than I had a trim at one point and I got some face framing, but they didn't frame my face. Like she was too scared to do the face framing. The most recent thing was I got bangs again because I wanted a change. Um, but I, I don't know, they weren't exactly what I expected, so I'm just growing them out. I've had them in a bunch of different ways. At this point, they're pretty long. Um, and she, when I got the bangs, I had her dye my hair black again. Um, it's grown out quite a bit. The black, or the, yeah, the black. So you can see my natural roots coming in. I do have a lot of gray hairs. <laughs> um, but honestly, at this point, I don't know. I like having black hair because obviously like the whole goth look, but I don't know. I kind of want to just have my natural hair grow out. Like even in the light, my hair is kind of turning brown, but it's not like this part is much darker than the root, which is, a, it's, it's, it's also a different brown, even though. So I'm like, I don't know. If you guys have any ideas, like suggest them below, but I kind of want to do the undercut. I'm like, well, maybe I could do orange and black for Halloween, but I'm like, mm, healthy hair over color. I don't know, but also color while I'm young and can have fun. I don't know, but yeah, that's like pretty much my whole hair journey. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Um, there was at one point I went to Aveda to get a purple undertone but it was more like reddish. I know that there's like spectrums of purple. I should have said blue, purple, but it was more of a red purple. Um, and it kind of showed up in the sun, but honestly not as much as I thought. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope this video wasn't super boring. And I know I'm kind of low energy, I just woke up, but um, I really wanted to make this video. I really want to put out more videos. Um, and so when I have an idea, I want to do it, even if I'm not fully ready, of course. But yeah, um, thank you for watching this. I love you and I'll see you next time. I hope, bye.